So the other thing I think that's interesting, you know, with the recordings that we're doing now is that so we've known each other for a really long time, but we've never played together. That's so right. why would you agree to do such a thing? That's why. Wow. That shows a lot of faith. Well, like I told you, I'm interested in work, you know, playing with people to yeah. see what will happen when more than one person's uh, intentions are involved, let's say. Well, so, yeah. well, go on. No, 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 I was going to ask you, so, yeah. so with that being the case, since I know that we already recorded, we've already done this recording, now that we're doing this interview, mm -hmm. so, so how'd that turn out? What do you think? How'd it go? I, did I'm, we do okay? I think we did okay. You were asking what didn't happen. Yeah, what didn't Well, happen. what didn't happen was I was interested in writing pretty ambitious pieces for mm -hmm. orchestras, and I wasn't really breaking into the L.A. Philharmonic or right. the uh, Boston Symphony or the Berlin Philharmonic. It was more like right. community orchestras, which are, you know, fine, and they have some great players in them and, and some less advanced players. And I just got a little disillusioned with putting in that much work and not being able to really get clear feedback, not just a good performance, but just clear feedback as to what, if my intentions even worked, right? Right. Because orchestral writing is kind of speculative. You know, right, you're right, speculating right. on what it's going to sound like. Yeah. I'm really impressed with your pedal board setup and with just the overall sound, textural sound. Like it covers a really wide range, we're, which was interesting because we were talking about this. I've gone the other way. Right. Like I used to do a lot more textural stuff, and now um, since I'm playing this acoustic five string semi acoustic thing, that um, I'm just going for really natural tone. So it's, it's, it was an interesting. Um, yeah, but I think that the yeah. distinction between them or the. the um, fact that they have a strong profile uh, makes it uh, an interesting interaction. Yeah. You know, if everyone's playing exactly the same and they yeah. sound the same, it's it, that's fine and that might be great, but it's also interesting when two people are playing and one person is making the sounds in a, in a whole different way than the other one, yeah, right? I agree. You know? No, the contrast is really, really great.
Also talked about a them a little bit. We it talk. wasn't completely spontaneous. Uh, yeah, we did plan a little we, bit. We, we planned a little, yeah. which I think also helps the first situation. You know, the yeah. first time. Absolutely, and it, which is interesting because, like for example, in contrast, you know, with like playing with Binny, Binny's like, "There's no talk. You don't want to. There's no talking. It's like we'll play. Whatever's going to happen, we're going to find it mm -hmm. and go there." So yeah, that was nice actually to have the communication ahead of time and to kind of set up a certain. Aesthetic. It's not just a sense of control, but also a sense of satisfaction. That that it's not just the the, the compositional satisfaction, but the satisfaction of playing with other people, mm -hmm. of interacting with other people as you play your music, and having that experience, and that's a very fulfilling experience, right? Well, it's what it's kept me interested in improvising right. for sure.